guys, it's Haf. I am back again with another comparison uh, video of polishes in my collection. This is part two of my oranges, or the ones that I keep in my orange section. New swatchy wheel. Um, most of these are trios with one pair. I will do the pair first. So we have these two polishes. This one is from Rimmel and it is called Sunset Orange and this one is from L'Oreal and it is called Dating Coral. Dating Coral does appear to have a little bit of a shimmer in it which Sunset Orange does not have but they are quite similar. So we will do the Rimmel first. I love the brushes on these Rimmel polishes. This is not the best formula of the, um, like the best finish of these form of this particular line of Rimmel. There are some that have better opacity than that. And the L'Oreal. Also, for like a mini bottle, these L'Oreal's have a really nice brush. Now, the colour is actually pretty similar, um, but there is a very slight shimmer in the L'Oreal one. Um, after two coats, I think the colour is going to be closer, but there, yeah, the fact that there's no shimmer in the Rimmel one kind of makes them a bit different. So the first of the trios, we have this one from Natio. This is called Sunflower. Natio is a brand that we get here in Australia. This is just a mini one. They have full size ones. This one here is from BYSA in the camera. The Natio looks much, much darker. It doesn't quite look that much darker in real life. This is called Clowning Around. BYS is another brand that we get here in Australia. And the third one is actually a scented polish from Academy of Colour, which is an Australian brand that you can get at um, Kmart in Australia. It's actually pretty good nail polish, quite frankly. Um, this one is orange scented. As you can see, they're all pastel -y oranges. So I'll swatch Natio first. So that is Sunflower. And then we have Clowning Around, which its formula is a little thinner, like it's uh, not quite as opaque as the Natio and a little bit lighter and the orange scented the Academy of Colour ones never have names they're just the um, they usually come in packs and stuff you can't like buy them individually they come with packs of like nail art and stuff like that so um, it is almost neon in comparison to the other ones. Um, unfortunately, the Academy of Colours, what's not terrible nail polishes, even though this is a scented one, um, they're a little bit stinkier than the run of the mill type polishes. So that's those three. Uh, this one looks so neon in person in comparison to these two here. <laughs> so, Alright, so the next trio. We have this one here from Sally Hansen, which is Shiny Penny from the Complete Salon Manicure line. Uh, Take the Stage from OPI, which is the Cabaret, Broadway, one of those type collections. 
and this one from Ultra 3, which is one of my favourite brands. Um, it doesn't actually have a name. Um, yeah. Uh, just Mini Me Colour. Which is funny, because I have other Ultra 3 Minis and they all have names. This one never had a name, so... Yeah. So, Shiny Penny. This is one of the not-so-great salon manicure, complete salon manicure lines. Like, it's patchy. Most of those I find I can do like one coat and they're like good to go, but not that one. Ooh, can't pick it up. Um, take the stage. Is sort of darker, but it's also a lot more glittery. They're actually quite similar in colour. And this is just a lot, a lot more glittery. And the Ultra 3 Mini Me. Is, glitter wise it's kind of between the two of them. But it is more corally in colour. These two are quite a bit more coppery. This one is not almost more red than these two. So the next three, uh, this one from OPI. This is on the same page, which looks terrible in the bottle, but it's actually really nice polish. Um, Orange Fix from Maybelline Color Show. They look pretty close. And this Ultra 3 nail polish called Bright Me. So the OPI on the same page. Has, even though it looks terrible in the bottle, has a lovely formula. It's lovely. Very opaque on the first coat. Maybelline Orange Fix is much more jelly. Um, and looks a lot more pink. Bright Me from Ultra 3 is probably a lot more, like a lot closer to the OPI. It's just not as um, opaque on the first coat as the OPI. So it's those three. And the last three I have Le Orange from L'Oreal. Le Orange. And two Maybelline colour shoes. They are different. This one's this one here's brighter and darker. But they're very similar for two from the same company. This one is actually a 60 second one. It is um, one that I don't actually have a name for. I think I found out what it is. It's like Wow Orange, I think it is. And this one here is Orange Tack. So there. Right, we'll have a look at those. So we'll start with the orange.
So that is a lot orange there. It's a little bit thin. Um, wow orange from Maybelline. Is like pow in your face. <laughs> it's awesome, but it's like pow in your face. Sorry, you probably didn't even say that. No, that one there is the Wow Orange, which is actually a great name for it because that's like wow. That's like almost neon. Not quite neon. I have some neon oranges, but none of them are exactly the same. Um, I was going to do my neon oranges, and then I realized it was completely different. And this one is Orange Attack, which is a bit more red. And it's like a darker version of Wow Orange. So, we will go back to the beginning. That is all of them. We have Sunset Orange from... Rimmel, which, you know, quite honestly, in comparison to the other oranges that I'm swatching, doesn't look very orange at all. Um, really? And the L'Oreal in Dating Coral. So, they do look pretty similar, it's just that the shimmer in Dating Coral uh, slightly changes the colour. In the viewfinder, Dating Coral looks a lot lighter, but that's more the shimmer coming off, like the sparkle coming off the shimmer in it, because in person, they actually look pretty similar to each other. So, that's those ones. Uh, Sunflower from Natio. So that's Sunflower from Natio. Um, Clowning Around from BYS. It's uh, quite a bit lighter than Sunflower. And the Scented Orange from Academy of Colour. Which, that wasn't the best swatch job ever is brighter than both of them. Um, the, the sunflower and the clowning around are tonally um, off by a couple of shades but are still sort of similar. They're both quite muted oranges whereas this is like bright in comparison. Although it does dry down a little bit duller. In the viewfinder, they all look a lot more similar than they do in person, actually, which is kind of funny. It's normally the other way around. Uh, Shiny Penny from Salon Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. Second coat makes a massive difference with how this one looks. Because it looks really patchy and terrible in the first coat. Second coat, it looks so much better. Uh, take the stage... By OPI. These teeny tiny little brushes are so annoying, but that's what you get when you get mini OPIs. Now, colour wise, in person, I don't know if you can see it in the viewfinder, but in person they are really, really similar, except for the fact that Take the Stage has got more glitter, like bigger glitter particles. This is more of a shimmer, this is more of a glittery kind of look, but colour wise they are super similar 
super similar. And they're also, they actually remind me of one that I swatched in my other orange collection. I'll just do the Mini Me from Ulta 3. Which, after a second coat, is a lot closer in colour to the other two. It's still lighter, but it's much closer in colour. But there's a similarity between um, these ones that I swatched last time. But looking at them together, you can see the differences. This one here is the OPI from the last swatch that I did. And it comes from the same collection as this one here. So they are actually pretty similar for two polishes that were in the same collection. Just thought it was interesting. So we are on to, uh, on the same page from OPI. Which almost doesn't need another coat. It's just, it's just awesome. The formula on this. OPI. Formula on this OPI. It's brilliant and I just whacked it with the bottle. Oh wow. Uh, Orange Fix from Maybelline. Um, yeah, not the same colour at all. In fact, it's a lot closer to Sunset Orange than it is to the On the Same Page. And the Bright Me from Ultra 3. Is much closer in colour to On the Same Page, but is still a lot lighter than On the Same Page. Um, it's actually almost closer to these colours, but it's got a bit more pink in it. So the last ones we have the orange from L'Oreal. Which is one of those ones you kind of have to build up in order to see the true colour of it. Um, wow Orange from Maybelline Colour Show 60 Second Line. Jeez, they are similar. <laughs> wow. They are really close. Interesting. And Orange Attack from the regular Maybelline Colour Show line. is darker, basically. Uh, these two are very similar once you build up the L'Oreal. Very, very similar. Like, wow, kind of similar. In the viewfinder, these four here all look very similar. This one is so different, but it looks really similar in the viewfinder. Especially those three. And I was just looking at my other swatch wheel and there are some similarities in some of these um, a couple of these tones are very like the one with my fingerprint on it that one there and this one here which is orange fix and this one which, if I'm not mistaken, was... I'll have to go and have a look at the other video. But th those two are actually very similar. They're actually more similar than I realised when I was looking at all my colours together. Which is... Yeah, it's why you do stuff like this, so you can see them all together. Um, yeah, and it's interesting how many of these... Like there's these ones here. Uh, I'm trying to do it without sticking my finger in slightly damp. Um, 
the the first couple that I swatched, um, Sunset Orange and um, Dating Coral, I think it is, um, are very similar to the um, which one was it? Uh, I think it's So Chic Pink and um, one of the other ones from the last video. Those are actually really similar as well. So that's interesting. But yeah, those are all of the oranges. So that's the oranges for this one. Um, probably in this one, the closest to our. Um, La Orange and Wow Orange. La Orange from um, L'Oreal and Wow Orange from Maybelline Color Show and Shiny Penny and Take the Stage. Shiny Penny from Sally Hansen and Take the Stage by OPR. So that's it for my oranges in comparison. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, then click the subscribe button down there. Click the little bell so you get notifications of when I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.